Hey everybody, just want to do a little review on our Tidewater 272. This is a 2022 model Tidewater, twin 200s on it. Uh, just wanted to do a little review here. We've had it now for about a month and a half, put about 15, 16 hours on it. Just want to go through a few things that we love about the boat and things we dislike about the boat. Uh, first thing, um, and many of you already know, the bow table has been a problem. Uh, it worked one time. We got it from a dealership, ran it up, ran it down in the driveway. After that, it has not come back up. So took it to the dealership. Apparently the whole table and the motor has to be replaced because they have to break the table to get the motor out. So that's a known issue. Talking with some of the fellow owners on the site, um, Tidewater Owners Group, I guess many of us have that problem. Um, but uh, one thing I will say that uh, my wife and I and our family, we absolutely love about this boat is the bow seating being so much uh, more open than our previous boat. We are coming from a, a Sea Hunt Ultra 235, which was a great boat, um, but there's a lot more room here. Love the big bench seating areas. Um, one thing I don't care for is how narrow these doors are once they are open. Um, we have four packs of life jackets and you have to take them all out of the, the, the case. So you can't leave them in the four pack case to fit them in here. Um, which is kind of annoying. Our smaller boat, our 235 Sea Hunt actually had bigger storage lockers here. These are longer, but they're not nearly as wide. Um, one thing I wish they would have done differently on the Tidewater here, your bow anchor locker, um, does not have a spot for the cord to come through for your trolling motor. So shout out to LM Marine. They put this uh, Minn Kota 87 on here uh, for me. I ran all the wiring, they mounted the motor um, and did the plate and everything so it clears. Um, but yeah, so I had to notch the door out myself. Um, I actually put two different ones in there just in case, but it still does pinch the wire as you can see, not a huge fan. Um, windless works fine, have not had any issues with it yet. Um, but so far so good with that. Um, aside from that, um, again, love the bow seating. Yeah, it's been great for those of you doing a trolling motor. Um, you can see here we installed, sorry, didn't have any of this ready for this video, but we installed the, um, it's the amped outdoors, 36 volt, uh, lithium ion battery. Did it under the console or under this uh, four seat here, just to try and keep keep room in the console under underneath the console in the head compartment um, accessible and just to keep things out of the way. Um, this leaning post is going away. I have the super deluxe leaning post uh, that I'll be adding to this boat, and because I I love the armrests definitely. Definitely need the armrest, especially with little kids. My son's five. He likes to sit next to me. It just makes me feel a lot more secure when the armrest is flipped down and he can lean on that in case we, you know, hit a wave wrong instead of him rolling out of the seat. Um, just a little bit safer, a little bit more secure, a little more plush also. And then I'll be adding a two drawer tackle station underneath that leaning post as well and a cooler track once that's done. Um, Second thing um, I guess that I'm not a big fan of with this boat here is these fish boxes. Every time I wash the boat, they completely fill up with water. This side drains pretty good, port side drains. Starboard side does not drain very well at all. Um, I have not ran anything through the drain tube yet, but um, other than just water and it's just really, really slow to drain around the uh, not the fish box itself, but the the tray around the, that's supposed to catch the water from going into the fish box itself. So, kind of a kind of sucks, but it's part of it. I've never been on a boat where they've sealed perfectly tight, unless you're looking to spend big money on a contender or something like that. A um, lot of room in this boat. We love it uh, as far as the room and the feature comforts and everything. Um, went with dual Garmin's here, left room for the autopilot controller to go into the middle. Um, love the new Yamaha digital steering. Um, it's been great. Um, 
love the the enclosure you can see this is the newer style enclosure being a 2022 model some people had this bracket right here that would crack they've done away with the plastic little bolt throughs and this is the actual metal plate there so love that um they also uh changed the shape of this t-top ever so slightly um on the new models because one of the things i noticed looking at the bigger boats the t-tops were very small um just didn't fit the size of the boat um, but you can see they widened this t-top out slightly in the back um, and they actually added the side spreader lights as well as your three rear spreader lights which is awesome uh, and then you still have the one forward spreader light in the front which gives you plenty of light um, another change they made is this tuna door um, made it a little bit more user friendly you can flip this open uh, it's a turn and lock latch it flips in much more usable uh, some of the other ones we looked at the when you would open it the cushion would hit right here and you only had about that much usable space to walk through so it was pretty much pointless um we actually used this one today when we were out on the water uh, my wife has a paddle board so she gets on and off her paddle board right here works perfectly um haven't been able to drag any fish through it yet but we're uh, hoping to do some of that here next weekend um other than that um like i said uh love the stereo on the boat that's been a great feature um, having the powered sub in the side of the council, separate amps, um, did have some wiring issues the first trip out with stereo cutting out, um, come to find out when they shrink wrapped the eyelets on the ground cables, they kind of got some of the shrink wrap behind the ground and just wasn't making a good ground. So fix that up. Not a big deal. Took care of that. Um, open this up here for you. Let's see we got some stuff down here it's a little messy um haven't finished cleaning up all my wiring here yet um but this is the four pack life jackets that i was telling you does not fit underneath that front bench seat but a uh, decent amount of room um i put some little hooks right here just to hang towels and things like that on um sideboarding ladder uh overboard discharge uh head in here have not used it yet, so hopefully I don't have any problems there. Um, I put my circuit breaker for my trolling motor right there, easy to access. And then behind this panel, I took this out, mounted my chargers and everything for the trolling motor underneath this side. And then in here is where your actual batteries go. Um, I have my house battery maintainers. So for all three, all three batteries there three bank battery tender in there so um other than that um our sea hunt did not have the the bathroom or anything like that uh didn't have the battery access underneath here um so really pleased with this space this area uh it's a little bit easier to keep neat and organized and clean and uh still might do some more hangers or something on this wall yet haven't completely decided um but uh yeah overall it's been a great boat so far um another th huge plus is the village access compared to the sea hunt uh sea hunt has hardly any let me turn this light on so you can see better hardly any access to your village um which i had to experience more than once fixing things um but yeah you got easy access to your fuel filters on both sides for both engines i keep my anchor down here also keep my, a couple of bumpers down here i did just order some foam i'm gonna get some adhesive foam and stick a, a piece right down here so the anchor is not sliding around in here um and yeah other than that stuff that can stay wet or doesn't really matter if it does get wet um, you can see obviously the, where the boarding ladder hooks on, or the side entry ladder hooks on there. Um, fold out rear bench seat. Um, we've been very pleased with this brown two-tone fabric. Um, really love the look. Um, we plan on getting some flooring done in this boat. That is my big number one pet peeve of this boat. Loved the flooring in our sea hunt much more uh, a lot more grip to the floor 
much better surface, uh, especially when it's wet. This here, it's kind of hard to see by video, but this is a very light texture here on the floor. There's not a lot of grip, especially when you start getting it wet. Um, you slide around pretty easy. Um, so I got a helm pad coming here next week for at least for me to stand on. And then hopefully in the off season, we'll get this whole boat done in uh, sea deck. So that's a huge, huge thing. Um, I would not uh, keep this boat and not have some sort of flooring on it. I just do not like this floor. The floor in our sea hunt, million times more grip to it, especially when it got wet. And with kids and dogs and stuff like that, just anyone. Um, the grip is a, a big thing for me keeping people safe um, but really that is about um, that's about it on the inside here like I said I just want to kind of give everybody a little review as to um, the 2022 models a few minor changes they've made pretty similar to the 2021 models like I said very very minor things they've done um, but overall we're uh, we're pleased with it love the boat plan on uh, getting out and doing some fishing here in the next couple weeks and uh, we've done one little fishing trip this boat with this 87 Minn Kota uh, does awesome we were out in about two to threes drop trolling motor held us no problem that lithium battery didn't even hardly drain below 60 percent and we were out there for four hours so um, definitely pleased with its performance as well uh, but yeah, so again, uh, Tidewater 272, if anybody has any questions or comments, um, let me know. Overall fit and finish on the boat has been pretty darn good. Um, definitely comparable to some of the other brands in its price range. There's a few blemishes in the, um, in the gel coat that I wasn't really fond of, but I mean, what are you going to do, you know, for the price point you pay? For these boats they're not you know invincibles they're not contenders they're 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 great boats for their value um overall we're very pleased with it and uh definitely plan to get out and do some more running with it once this flooring gets addressed i think this is a boat we're going to keep for a long long time so like i said if anybody's got any questions comments or anything like that let me know thanks